AP 2018 syllabus. We want to spend some time in class with substantive questions. I know a lot of you are worried about AP since you've seen the coursework in Latin 1 and 2 being pretty hideous. AP is a little different. It's steady coursework, but it's a, quite a different environment because here I have to directly prepare you for college classes. And um, we're going to talk in the syllabus. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the college process. In the next lecture, we'll talk about how the exam looks and how I'll be preparing you for it in the class design. Let's talk about the college process. So if you're a senior, a rising senior, here's what we're looking at. Obviously, we didn't suffer through Latin so that we could do uh, poorly. We need to go to college. We need to have it paid for it. Generally speaking, the ACT 30 to 31 plus, that's a kind of a golden score. That's where you're dealing with, there's not a lot of difference between a 36 and a 35 and a 34 for colleges, but a, a good ACT score is important. So if you don't have that yet, this is the summer where you need to work on it. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Transcripts. I want you to look carefully through your transcripts to make sure that every course is there Sometimes courses get left off. Sometimes grades need to be changed. And we need to talk about that for my class. That final submission is 5 August because around 10 August, the counselor will be sending out your transcripts to all the colleges. That would be the freshman, sophomore, and junior years. Essays. Over the summer, I'd like to meet with you to get a concept of what you want to do with your essay. Now, for QuestBridge, that essay can be changed from your previous submission. And if you're not in QuestBridge, we still have those essays and prompts to deal with for the Common App. Um, I'd like that at least by 15 August. Now, what I've got is uh, Mary Nazimic is now going to be helping me assist with students on their editing of their essays. Uh, she's a good writer, a lot of experience. And uh, we're going to set that for Fridays. So the sooner we have a better uh, idea of what you're saying and how you say it. The more we can edit, the more we can make it happen. After school, uh, I usually spend 4.30 to 5.30 with students working on essays. So the sooner we get that done, at least a draft idea, the better off we are. Your CV and activity resume, one September, because uh, that's when you really need to get your letters for requests to your teachers, and they're going to want a copy of your CV uh, so they can reference it. Uh, you'll also want that because the CV, the more detailed it is, the better your application will be for uh, Naviance, which will take that. Uh, early action is what we're going for in virtually all cases, and I want that at 14 October. Uh, that gives us plenty of time to make sure there's no snafus. There are no extensions for early action. And early action, honestly, gives you the most amount of money up front. So a lot of your decisions can be made easily. Let's talk about the ACT. Now, if your ACT scores are good and you don't want to take it again, I'm fine with that. These are your scores. Uh, but there is a 9 September 2017 ACT. That's a very tough one. I'm not, uh, if students are prepped, they'll come up in their score, but it, it is important. There will be a 28 October 2016 uh, ACT, and that one is a possibility as well, but it's not quite as good for early action. However, if you need to take it and you're prepped, that's fine. Remember, as I said before, it's really tough in the senior year. You've got to balance some very challenging courses. You also have to prepare your essays and your letters and supplemental essays for all of these colleges and revision, revision, revision. It's a lot. So studying for the ACT, uh, once we get to school, that's going to be really tough. This is the only time you're really going to have, and I can't uh, emphasize enough uh, just how to do it. Naviance, of course, gives you an opportunity. Uh, and if necessary, I can also get some case tutors in early uh, to assist you if you're having trouble with the math and everything else. The sooner I know to be able to put out those contacts, the better off it'll be. So there's the college uh, application process. 
we've had good results in these last few years using these methods. Uh, I'm here to assist and coach. This is not part of your grade. This is just part of the service that I believe I need to offer you since I've been doing this for a while and we've had good results. So that takes care of the college application process. And uh, the next videos, we'll talk about how the class is designed.